how to get a blood test. Doctors order blood tests for a variety of reasons. This is because there is almost no better indicator of overall health than the number of levels and other factors that can be measured through a blood test. Unfortunately, for many people taking the blood test is a very nerve-wracking and uncomfortable thing to do. Not only is someone sticking the needle into your veins and causing you pain, but they're extracting blood sometimes in large quantities from you before your eyes. Thankfully, having your blood taken is a relatively short event. It'll be over quickly, and afterwards you'll be able to rest assured knowing that your doctor will have important information about your health. Part 1. Getting a blood work order. 1. Talk to your doctor. The best person to determine if your signs or symptoms demand a blood test is your doctor. If you need one, she will prescribe it and provide you with a blood work order. If your doctor orders blood work, make sure you have it done as soon as possible. If you're afraid or anxious about the blood work itself or the potential results of the blood test, talk to your doctor. She can reassure you, the best way to treat what is causing you heat issues is to identify the problem. The results of your blood test can help you begin proper treatment. Make sure to listen to and talk to your doctor about any special instructions and things you may need to do before the blood is taken. 2. Discuss blood work with a nutritionist. You might need your blood work ordered for non-medical purposes. One of these purposes is to ascertain if your diet and nutrition is what it should be to support your overall health. In this instance, consult a nutritionist and see if he wants to order blood work to determine your vitamin and mineral levels and to find out if you have any deficiencies that should be addressed. You might consult a nutritionist in the case of pregnancy the advice of a medical professional you have diabetes, absorption abnormalities, and slash or food sensitivities slash allergies if you are a vegetarian, vegetarian, or subscribe to any other non-traditional diet. 3. Talk about potential blood work with a sports medicine doctor. If you are an athlete, suffered from certain muscular problems, or have suffered some sort of muscular injuries, your sports medicine doctor might also order blood work. Blood work can tell your sports medicine doctor a lot of information about muscular health and potential problems like arthritis and similar afflictions. Ultimately, your sports medicine doctor will be the best person to decide if you need blood work related to skeletal and muscular health. For Consult with your naturopathic specialist about blood work. Naturopathic specialists or doctors combine natural remedies and medical science to treat an array of afflictions. Depending on the reason you are consulting the naturopathic specialist, he or she might order blood work to help them determine how to treat you. Naturopathic doctors might order blood work in order to help them determine gluten intolerance, the treatment of headaches, hormonal imbalance, and a array of other problems. 5. Have your blood tested without a medical professional. Today, Many labs are increasingly allowing individuals to have their blood drawn and tested without an order or prescription from a medical professional. If you for some reason want to have your blood tested, you may be able to find a lab that will test your blood without any blood work order. For more information, contact local blood testing labs in your area just because you have this option, however, does not mean you should do it.
getting your blood tested without the help of a medical professional is not recommended. Consider the following. If you order your own blood work, you won't have the ability to have a doctor interpret it for you and then prescribe a treatment, if needed. Many tests need to be interpreted by a medical professional. Information on the internet is not always credible. You may want to get your blood drawn and use information you found online to interpret the results but, this is not a reliable way to read test results. Even if you read the test results correctly, you may be unable to get the treatment necessary without a doctor to write a prescription. Some labs only offer a handful of blood tests without a doctor prescribed blood work order. This service might not be available in your area. Part 2. Having your blood drawn. 1. Prepare for your blood test. Depending on the type of blood work your doctor or other medical professional has ordered, there are a number of things you need to do to prepare for the test. This is necessary to make sure that the diagnostics performed on your blood provide accurate data. Some preparations could include not eating or drinking for up to 12 hours, discontinued use of certain medications, other preparations as ordered by your doctor. 2. Take your prescription to a hospital or lab. After your doctor has evaluated whether you need blood work or not, take your prescription to a hospital or lab. You'll likely wind up at a specific lab that specializes in collecting blood work and other specimens from people. The lab will either run the blood there or send it off to a central location for testing. 3. Provide the phlebotomists with information. When you are called in at the lab or hospital, a phlebotomist the person trained to extract blood from patients will sit you down and may ask you questions. Cooperate with the phlebotomist. She is not there to cause you trouble or to harass you. The phlebotomist is just doing her job. Questions she might ask you could be for a variety of reasons, including to verify your identity to find out if you have allergies to latex to calm you down or relax you. For relax your arm. When the phlebotomist goes to take your blood you need to relax your arm. Try to stay relaxed, otherwise the phlebotomist will have a tougher time finding your vein and taking your blood. Staying rigid and not relaxing could cause unneeded pain to yourself and exacerbate an already uncomfortable situation. Do not clench your muscles. Your palm should be facing up. 5. Let the phlebotomist draw your blood. After you relax your arm, the phlebotomist will then draw your blood. Ultimately, this is the moment you've been waiting for. The actual blood being drawn won't take too long, so relax. The phlebotomist will locate the vein from which to take blood, then clean the area with an alcohol swab. The phlebotomist will create and tie a tourniquet on the arm to help blood collect. The phlebotomist will position the needle at a 15 degree angle and stick it into your skin. You'll feel a slight stinging, but nothing significant. The blood being drawn will take from 30 seconds to a couple of minutes, depending on how much blood and how many samples tubes the phlebotomist needs to take. 6. Avoid making yourself anxious. As the phlebotomist is drawing your blood, try to avoid doing things that might cause you anxiety, and push negative thoughts aside. If the sight of blood makes you feel faint, don't look at the blood being drawn out of your arm. If you're fascinated by it, feel free to look. Just remember,
This is a normal and necessary procedure that needs to be done to determine your health. The blood drawing procedure itself won't hurt you. Close your eyes and hum if that helps. Think about something else if you get anxious. Joke with the phlebotomist or talk about anything but the fact that blood is being drawn out of your arm.